This is the nickel. What is this? I forgot what it's called. It's like the nickel. Uh, what's the what's the name of it? I forgot what that what this actual pattern is called. Um, but this is my first actual penny board. If y'all know, I actually had another one. I have this one. This is not an actual penny board. This is by Skatro, but it's the exact same dimensions um, as a penny board would be. So um, I've been riding this one, all right, and I've been riding this one for a long time. I love it. Uh, for the most part, it's smooth. The bearings could be a little bit better, and this is super portable. It's great. I love it when I got to take it to class. Like I can literally. It's, it fits in one hand, you know what I'm saying, as compared to this one, all right? The only gripe I have with this board is it's sketchy as hell. You know, the stability, once you start getting up to, I'd say maybe like 10 miles per hour, dude, this thing's gonna start wobbling and you're gonna like fly off, okay? And if you hit a stick, like literally you hit a rock, you hit a stick, anything, it's a wrap. So that's why I looked into the penny board. I paid 65 for this off Amazon. Um, I'm gonna include the link to this in the description so if you guys wanna see some more specs on it, uh, if you want to go cop one yourself, I'll include the link where I got my penny board off of Amazon.com. Like I said, 65 bucks, not too bad. Um, for this one, like the, the schedule board, I paid like 50, I think. I want to say like 55, 50 um, off Amazon as well. So I'll include links to both boards, but I'm just going to give you my impressions on the uh, nickel and on the penny. And just a reminder, this is not an actual penny. This is a schedule board. However, it's the same exact dimension as the penny like it's it's literally it's a penny board but it's not a penny board now first off with this one super smooth ride like bearings are wonderful all right i don't know if it's just me um but this one feels like butter when i'm riding it it's like super smooth and like i said i don't have the problem that i do with the smaller board when i hit bumps and i hit rocks this board is so big and it absorbs like a lot of shock um you know what i'm saying so i can hit a couple rocks i can hit a couple bumps and it's still not gonna throw me off you know what i'm saying um, and the deck is obviously a lot wider. And to be honest, if you're gonna be doing a lot of cruising and you're gonna be doing a lot of like downhill stuff, I'd definitely suggest going with the nickel board. It's much more stable. Um, and to me, it's a lot faster than the penny board. Now, what I will say is if you're looking for portability, then penny board size is the way to go. Uh, with this one, it's still pretty fast, you know what I'm saying? Um, but once I start going downhill, dude, like I said, it's pretty sketch. True story, I was going to one of my exams one time, riding this thing downhill. Going pretty fast. I hit a stick, flew off the board, uh, scraped up my arm. You know, it was absolutely ridiculous. And, and this is like, this has probably happened about five times on this board, all right? And I've had this board for about, I want to say like four or five months. So I've been riding it consistently. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. It looks like it's been used because it has been used. With this one, I hit the wheel. It spins and then it kind of stops. You know what I'm saying? So like the bearings are not as good on this one. And it might just be because I need to loosen these a little bit. I haven't loosened it since I bought it. Um, let's try this wheel. Okay, this one's a little bit better. See how it spins there? Bang. Okay, there we go. Cool, but it only spins for like five seconds. So with the nickel, it spins for a lot longer. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have to hit it as much and it keeps spinning. So all in all, after my week-long ride of the nickel, uh, my brand new board and my older board, I like the nickel a lot better. I do. I really, really do. Even though it's a bit bigger, it doesn't fit in your backpack. Um, it's not as portable. It's a lot more fun to ride to me, especially because I like doing a lot of downhill stuff. Penny's cool, like if you're just trying to get around, you want something that fits in your backpack, you want something that's just going to get you from point A to point B uh, really quickly. It's still fast, it's still nice to ride, it's still fun to ride, but it's a little bit more sketch, like I said, when you get up to high speeds. So, in my opinion, I would go with the nickel. Alright, this is my new baby. I love her. She's great. 